Hi, my name is Rosie Coronado and I'm happy to show you the B1 eye payment from Boy MIT for SAP Business One. It's an easy to use add-on and makes your credit card processing faster and easier on your everyday transactions, which will save you lots of time. You can add multiple credit cards per customer and you can do your authorization and settlements either by adding a document or as a batch process. B1 iPayment is fully PCI compliant and works only with gateways using a tokenization sy system, which means you will never see the full credit card in the system as you can see here on the screen. All you need is to get a merchant's account and install the server components which talks between iPayment and SAP Business One. If we go to SAP Business One to Administration, Add-ons, once you have your iPayment installed, you will see an B1 iPayment folder. If I click on it, you go to Configurations. The first thing you do on the General tab is select your gateway, the account you created. Those are the ones we work with right now, with B1 iPayment, and you choose the one you create an account with. Depending on the gateway you choose, your general tab setup might differ a little bit. On the authorization screen, you let iPayment know what actions you want to take for authorizations. If you look right here on sales orders, I have it set when I add a document, I want an authorization pop-up. My other options are don't do anything or do an auto automatic authorization. Down here you can do an authorization markup, meaning if you know that you usually have, a lot, have more expenses once you do the delivery or an AR invoice, you can do a markup, meaning to make sure the funds are available. You can do an amount or a percentage. Authorization expiration days, I have it set right here on this sample, seven days. That means after seven days the authorization will expire. But you can check this check mark right here and let the system know if there's any authorization there expired. I want you to automatically authorize it. On the settlement and refund tab, you let iPayment know the actions to take once you do settlements. In my case, I have it set once I do an AR invoice or an AR reserved invoice, I would like iPayment to settle, but I also wanted to create an incoming payment while doing the settlement, meaning so you don't have to do it manually. On the permission tab, you let the system know who is able to do refunds to the credit cards. And on the alerts tab, this is where you tell the system if there is an intern internal error, who should get a message. Once this is all set up, you are ready to go to Business Partners, Business Partner Master Data, in my case I renamed it to Customer and Vendors, and I'll pull up my customer, and if you go to the Payment Terms tab, you see on the right side you have a credit card button, which was created from iPayment. If I click on it, you see this customer has three credit cards assigned to them. One is a default credit card. You can set maximum amounts per transactions. And right here on the card number, you see that you only see part of the credit card, the last four digits. If you need to add a new credit card, you just click Add. And it will take you to a secure website. And right here you would add the credit card. Mine is a demo, uh, is set to demo. That's why you see it kind of funky. And you click save and it will fit in the credit card information into SAP Business One as a token. You will never see the full credit card. Once that is set up, you're ready to use 
the credit card for payments. I'm going to go to sales, AR, sales order. And I'm going to put in a quick sales order for MaxiTech. Oops, sorry about that. And if you see right here, you have an iPayment tab now that's also created from, from the add-on. And you still can change your actions right here. I have it, its defaults, of course, as configured, but you still can say, okay, don't do anything on this order or do an automatic authorization. I'm going to leave it as configured because I would like for you to see the pop-up. Once I have my order in, I'm going to click Add. And here we go, you see the credit card authorization pop up. It automatically fall, defaults to my default credit card, but you're still able to change it. Or if you want to split it between two credit cards, that's fine too. It all looks good to me. I'm going to click authorize. And if you look on top now, where it says sales order, the banner, it also says I payment status authorized. And if I click on the tab, it also says authorized. If I'm going to copy this sales order to an error invoice, you see the I payment tab again right here. And I'm going to click add. And if you watch, my configuration is set to create an incoming payment and settle it. If you look at my error invoice, it's closed. It's closed out because it created the incoming payment. And if I go to my iPayment tab, you see it says settled and the incoming payment was created. If you go over here, you see you have your gateway reference number and the authorization token. token. So if you decide you need to do a refund, or a partial refund, that's not a problem. You would right click and you go to your iPayment folder and here you can do a refund now or a partial refund. If I click on it, are you sure you want to refund this invoice? You say yes. It's doing the refund and then it also asks you if you would like to create a credit note for that refund. If you prefer not to do your authorizations and uh, settlements on every document, but rather by the end of the day, for example, you can go to banking, credit card processing, and you can do batch authorization or batch settlements or batch refunds. You would just come in here, click on it, choose your documents. Let's say every day you want to do a batch authorization on all the sales orders that have been entered. You're going to click next and here all the sales orders that have been authorized you can select them all and then click the authorization button and it does it as a batch and the same thing you can do with settlements by the end of the day you pull all the error invoices that came up uh, that went out and you can run the settlements and the same with refunds this one is a very uh nice tool credit card expiration you can put a, a date range in here and then click search and it will list all the credit cards they are expiring in the date range that way you can contact your customer and let them know that the credit cards are about to expire under administration you also have um, under ipayment folder you also have a settlement reports that's very neat for management. If I put in a date range, it shows me everything that has been settled. And again, you don't see the full credit card right there. Thank you so much for your time. If you would like to have a free trial to check it out, please feel free. Go again and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.